Hi, in this video I'm going to give a walkthrough in this MATLAB example which classifies electrocardiogram signals using a simulated model and a deep learning network, a pre-trained convolutional neural network. Okay, so the model is going to classify between three types of signals, cardiac arrhythmia, congestive heart failure, and normal sinus rhythms, and these are the three abbreviations. So the model uh, will convert the electrocardiogram signals into wavelets, and then the wavelets are converted into a scalogram, which is like a image, 20, uh, 227 by 227 by 3. And then that image is fed into a convolutional neural network that is going to do the classification. And finally, the classification and the score label, uh, the, the label and the score are going to be uh, overlaid on top of the image so that it can be displayed on the video. Okay, so let's do this example. Let's open the model. Okay. So this is the model. That's the name of the model. And let's uh, run it first just to see how it looks. But first, uh, it is good uh, uh, to, in order to understand the model, uh, use this debugging features, uh, setting the uh, signal dimension here and the base type to see how it goes. So basically, the electrocardiogram signal is a vector of 60, more than 65,000 elements. And then uh, it's going to go through a MATLAB script that is going to do the conversion from electrocardiogram to wavelet and into scalogram. So notice that it go for, goes from double into an sine integer 8 to be able to be seen as an image. And also the dimensions change to, to the dimensions of the image, including the red, green, blue color. Okay, after that conversion, uh, this image is fed to the output and the also is fed to a pre-trained convolutional neural network that's going to do the classification. The output is going to be the three labels, uh, arrhythmia, congestion failure, and normal sinus, and the corresponding score for the confidence of each classification. Okay, so that uh, is fed into a post-processing script that is going to take these classifications and it's going to put the labels on top of the image and then fed to a video viewer. So let's run it. Okay, so the first image is gonna be the normal sinus and you're gonna see a beautiful uh, yellow with 99% confidence, then this red arrhythmia, 80%, and finally this all blue, almost all blue a congestion of failure. Uh, I'm not a, an expert in uh, electrocardiogram signals, but it seems like the congestion is like uh, the heart was turned off. The arrhythmia seems to be in the other extreme in which the red indicates that it's a little bit uh, intense. And finally, the normal looks like in the in-between uh, with the yellow. Okay, uh, so now uh, let's take a look at inside the model. So let's uh, put some breakpoints into the MATLAB script so we can hit them through simulation. Let's go to the other script. Okay. But before that, uh, let's take a look at the pre-trained neural network model. So this is taken from this math file. So let's open it. This is a damn file, and now it's going to be in the workspace. So you, we can use this command uh, to take a look at the network. It's a, a big a convolutional neural network that has a lot of convolution, uh, max pooling, ReLU, and branching uh, with a particular repeated branching pattern. And it starts with the image size, 227 by 227 by 3. And then the max pooling is going to take down the spatial dimensions all the way to 14 by 14. And the final three features is, is the features are increased and eventually are taken down all the way to three uh, from yeah actually the the features uh, keep increasing all the way in the convolutional network but then it, they are taken down uh, to three because those are the classifications so arrhythmia congestion failure and normal so finally we got a global average pooling and softmax for the classification and that's it okay yeah uh, so now let's run it to see how the script uh, works the first to hit is it's going to be the conversion to scale scalogram. So let's hit F11 to go inside a, this function. You see that the input is the electrocardiogram signal, more than 65,000 elements. 
So uh, notice that this script is declared outside of the model in here. So yeah, the simulated model can do that. And we have a persistent data, uh, which is gonna be a global, but uh, in this scope. And it's gonna be like a state for the model. Okay, so at the beginning, we don't have the object created. So we check if it is empty. So it's gonna create that color map. And this is only created once. For the next uh, time step, uh, it's gonna be forcing here and it's not gonna be created. Okay, so let's go inside to this function. This is gonna do the conversion from electrocardiogram to wavelets. And this is a deep learning. Uh, actually, yeah, actually this is part of the example, yeah. So we're gonna get a filter bank and the number of elements is 65,000 and we just create the filter bank. Again, this is a state, it's gonna be created only once. And that filter bank is gonna be used to convert the electrocardiograms into wavelets. Notice that for each uh, electrocardiogram entry, we're gonna have 79 uh, wavelet entries. Okay. So the wavelets uh, are like uh, the Fourier transform uh, that, but instead of just giving us a uh, frequency and intensity, it also give us information about the time and the location in time of the particular frequency. So it gives us uh, more information. Okay. So, and now uh, we're gonna take the wavelet information and we're gonna convert it into an image. For that, at uh, first, uh, we're gonna rescale the signal. If we take uh, the max of the of these wavelets, it's gonna be between 0.8 and a very small value. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna rescale it, and after rescaling it, the values are gonna be between one and zero. That's the first thing that we want to do in order to display it correctly as an image. Then a uh, the u 8 is friendly for the image, so we're going to do that conversion as well, uh, using the IPT function for doing that. And then uh, we're going to use this function to convert, the, using this color map, to convert the values into a red, green, blue map. Okay. Then finally, we're going to resize uh, the first two dimensions in uh, 79 by 65,000 into a space map. And the final dimension is gonna be remain it's gonna remain the same and another conversion to UNA just in case. So with that, uh, we have now our image. Uh, and let's take a look at it. Yeah, so this is the normal sinus uh, rhythm. So it looks yellow there. Okay, now let's go, let's take away this breakpoint. And let's keep going uh, because that is going to take us to the post-processing script. Now uh, we already uh, generated the image and then uh, the neural network got the image and gave us the classification values. And the classification scores are 99% for the third category, which corresponds to NSR, which is normal sinus rhythm. So yes, as, as we saw in the image, and now uh, we're just gonna overlay, and this is label prop is another script within the folder. Uh, yeah, it should be somewhere around here. Yeah, here it is. Yeah, so basically we're gonna get the scores and just gonna put the, I'm not gonna go details through this. It's gonna use this function, which is from IPT. No, yeah, the computer vision toolbox uh, to overlay these labels into the image. So let's just take a look at it. Okay, it's the same image, but with uh, indicating that it's normal with 99%. Okay, so let's continue. Take away the breakpoint, and we shall be able to see the rest in the simulation. Okay, uh, that's it for the video. Thank you very much for watching.